All right, so I think right here is my S2 class qualifier. We're almost done with this campaign. Jeez. I'm ready to witness true Hot Wheel speed. Are you ready for the final qualifier? I sure am ready. I'm just gonna arrive in style in my Aventador J because why the hell not? Oh, it's right here. It's stop, 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 stop. Bat to the Blade Runner. This is the S2 qualifier. Apparently, this is the final qualifier. Aside from the X Class Goliath, I would assume, anyways. Anyways, I have to do something in a minute and 40 seconds, most likely in Bat to the Blade. So, there you go. The spark is Haley's idea, but I ordered this thing myself. Ready? Oh my god, okay, let's, let's drive bats, but we already drove this thing in the very intro, but now we're just gonna get to drive it properly, so yeah, this is definitely set up like an F1 car, it's really satisfying to drive this thing. Alright, let's do- oh god. I shall try, holy crap, this is a lot, I need to stay above 177.03 kilometers per hour. Eh, it should be pretty simple in this thing. Just absolutely zoom everywhere. Take it easy, take it easy. Oh my. Easy, LA. We want to see some speed. Oh my. Oh, oh, uh, the cornering of the what? Okay, I have heard this thing be way better than the Kony CCGT, which, which is the current meta car for S2 class. But oh my god, this is so good! I have my magnetic tracks. So don't even worry about me. I actually love this part of the map. Oh, there's a dragon. Uh oh, oh, am I gonna make it? Oh, we got five seconds on the clock. There you go. Oh, that was brilliant. You can keep the blade, only mind if I borrow it sometime? I don't mind, but that's three stars on the qualifier, and we've got the bat to the blade Hot Wheels. Let's go. That was your final qualifier. I've got a bunch of new events and missions to keep you occupied. Well, I try to build something worthy of a future Hot Wheels legend. Okay, well that's alright and all, but I see at the top right here the Hot Wheels Goliath. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. One more rank in the academy, and you can call yourself a Hot Wheels legend. Right after you take down the Goliath, that is. Okay, there you go. That's what I was looking for. All right, so here it is. The 2012 Bad to the Blade from Hot Wheels, an extreme track toy. Well, as per expected, it's got 650 horsepower and it weighs absolutely nothing. It looks absolutely incredible. Look at that paint job as well. It, it, it just color shifts all the way. Actually, as far as I've heard from like all the pro tuners, this apparently is like the new fastest car in S2 class racing, which is a very, very very interesting but i mean how can it not be considering those tires look at those incredibly thick uh, open wheel tires oh good god this is this car looks insane oh yeah it's also bone stock at the very top of s2 class however i haven't unlocked x class yet but uh with my upgrades uh, as tire compound in particular hopefully we should be able to bring that class down so right off the bat should i go snow tires i mean this is gonna have i don't know probably a thousand horsepower if i max upgrade it so maybe i'm gonna go for snow tires for now oh but we have uh, some engine swaps oh it's a racing v12 but I mean the stock engine however it actually sounds like an f1 car it revs to almost 12,000 rpm this is insane all right as per usual i'm just gonna go for regular rear wheel drive uh, drift build for this so we're gonna go for a drift differential and a four speed gearbox and also in here we got some better brakes and hopefully oh my god yes we have drift suspension there you go it doesn't actually slam it like anymore it's already slammed to the ground but i'm just gonna go drift suspension for that extra angle and stuff anyways though now let's see how much power we can actually get oh does, does, does this actually change the engine note well it doesn't really change anything however uh yeah it's cool to max out the horsepower also we're not actually gonna have all that much power we're gonna have 889 horsepower but we weigh again Th nothing that's actually a pretty cool number there uh, almost 700 but not quite 700 anyways though yeah that's gonna be a very very insane car i actually have some plans for this as well so why the hell not okay i love how my drift build is also pretty much at the top of s2 class with snow tires keep in mind this is uh, uh a bit insane <laughs> Oh, good God. Okay, so the pretty cool thing about this car is actually mid-engine. So, in terms of drifting, it's probably going to feel fantastic. But, okay, I'm already having some issues um, maintaining angle. I'm going to have to extend these gears a little bit. Yeah, I mean, 420 is a pretty cool number, but 369 is also a pretty cool number. That's a little bit better. We can drift in third gear. Why the hell not? kind of curious as to how much this thing is going to do in fourth gear with all these uh, wind boosts or whatever they're called. 
377 looks about it. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, the thing with this, I still have yet to qualify for, like, X-Class and stuff, so I actually have, I have two Drift Zones that I have to complete, one all the way over here and one all the way over here, so I guess this one is closer, so let's go to this one, and on the way, we can actually test this thing out, it actually feels rather nice, of course, as for with all the Drift builds that I've done, they're not gonna feel fantastic on these very slopey Hot Wheels tracks, because, well, I mean, that's what it is. That's how gravity works. Nothing really I can do about it, unfortunately, but I'm going to try my best to get as many points as possible, hopefully for three stars. That would have been a really sick reverse entry, but nope. Okay, so let's actually get a little bit of a run up here. How the hell am I going to get three stars on that? I have no idea, but apparently we're going the wrong way, actually, around the drift zone. But I'm going to be a pro gamer, and I am going to commit to this. All right, and in here we go. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going the wrong way. The, uh, the, oh, my God. Oh, actually, this is the route that goes through one of the S1 races. I actually love this route. Anyways, in terms of points, this thing is not actually doing too bad. Look at that, 140, 150. It's it's just going. Hopefully, uh, can we actually get 200,000? Oh my god, 200,000! Oh, so close. That was three stars, though. That was pretty sick. Problem is, I'm gonna have to get a little bit more of a run-up if I actually want to, well, get anywhere. So, I'm just gonna go get as much of a run-up as possible from this side. I'm just gonna get a little bit more points. Alright, we get a speed boost, and into the zone we actually go. I need to shorten the gears, because, uh, this is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm just gonna re- Bro, this is absolutely horrible. Who decided that drifting on Hot Wheels tracks would be a good idea? That is with being smooth and without crashing everywhere. Like, it's almost impossible. Saying that, though, this thing actually isn't doing too bad. They have to redline the living hell out of it, but it's not actually doing too bad. Hell yeah. All right, there we go. 200 and... 9,000 points. That's not bad. All right, let's go to the other drift zone. And if I actually do this drift zone, right, we're actually going to have enough medals to progress to X class, which is going to be pretty sick. All right, we're just going to get straight into the zone. Okay, yeah, this is really difficult. This is what I mean. These slopey, freaking stupid all wheels tracks are very difficult to drift on, but. I'm trying my best. I don't even know what we need for three stars, but I kind of doubt we can get 200k. Can we actually get 200k on this zone? I'm not actually sure. Oh, we can certainly get 200,000. Oh, let's go. It's a pretty good score. I'm just going to do a 360 because why the hell not? There you go. 231,000. And there you go. Hot Wheels Goliath unlocked. Holy crap. Okay. I am actually quite ready to prove myself. That's not too bad. Problem is, I do have a few other races that I actually need to do before I actually do it. But yeah, but with this thing, this thing actually drives quite fantastically. As well as sounding absolutely insane, it drives actually really well. I'm just going to need to adjust these gears a little bit more. Okay, we got some more flat pieces of uh, Hot Wheels tracks. That Okay, this is pretty cool to drive on there. Okay, that was a pretty cool 360. All right, let's go for another one and into the magnet tracks. Okay, th uh, okay, this car is definitely spiraling out of control a little bit. I mean, it does have drift suspension, I guess. Yes, you can drift on these, but well, you're upside down, so uh, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble with this. That's why I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. Yeah, this thing is very, very sick. Let's actually go for a 360 on these magnet tracks. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, you know what? Let's go for a 720, I guess. Reverse gear. All right. Not bad, but yeah, super unique car. It actually drives very fantastically. Apparently, it's a very, very fast car in S2 class racing. But for drifting, my verdict, it's also absolutely fantastic. All right, but with that, that is the Hot Wheels Bad to the Blade in Forza Horizon 5.